Hi. Let me get this just right. Hello. All right. I'm still doing these needlebooks, you know, because I had like eight of them to do. So I'm still doing them. <laughs> still doing them. Uh, don't you just I had, love like, my eight of them to do. Oops. Don't you love my thumbnail? It's just a rotten desk on this. <laughs> I'll have to change it later. I'm not in the mood. I didn't put any links. I didn't do anything. Sometimes I don't feel like doing all that stuff. I just want to do my video and that's it. I don't want to have to mess with it. I'm not in the mood. You know what I mean? All right, so... The needle books. So I got another one done. I'll show you. And then we'll start decorating this one, okay? <coughs> Sorry, I got a frog in my throat all of a sudden. But I'm going to stop decorating these now because I'm using all my sewing stuff. Like my real ephemera for these wall inspiration send notes. I don't know what I was thinking. I must have been mad. I was just telling Kristen. What was I thinking trying to do journals for Wall of Inspiration? Like, I did not mean for these to be, like, journal journals. Oh, now it's gotten out of hand. You know. <laughs> but anyways, these, you know. Although I really want something really nice for Wall of Inspiration, I don't expect you guys to send journals for Pete's sakes. Anyways, I got my pin cushion ring on. I did my nails yesterday with new glitter. So I'm all about it. And here's the next one. Black seam bindings in my shop. I rarely get to use it, but I thought that for this, for this, it looked good with the black, with the black writing and stuff. So Tsunami Rose, little bingo card. I sewed around the edge with pink thread and inked it up and stuff, script stamp. And then I glued this little bit of felt I cut with my pinking shears. And then I got another little piece. This is just pinned and I put the pins in and the rickrack on. And then I beaded some of the pins. I put little beads and pearls on them and I used my yellow pins. And then here's the buttons and charms. So that's kind of fun. Let me see if this is, if you can see what the heck I'm doing here. All right. I guess you can see okay. All right. And then I like to put receipts and I don't know, junk right here. So I always save all those tabs that we rip off the your mattresses, you know, <laughs> and your pillows and all the stuff you buy and it says do not remove. So I cut them off and save them for my sewing journals and it's just fun. I got receipts and then glassine bags. These are in my shop. And then I made this little, it's a fat little guy. It's got the pattern paper on the inside and then I sewed, you know, coffee stain on the back and some of Daisy's stuff, but I sewed it into a little pocket. So there's like stuff in here, thread and like Daisy's words relating to sewing. So it's kind of fun. And I just made a cute little thing and you can write on the back. It's pink thread and stuff. I just made a little chubby. I like the little chubbies and I like how all the stuff sticks out. So that's kind of fun. And then this is just more of that Singer sewing machine old paper from one of the books, you know, that I just like, and I just went like this. And I love my little bags. All these bags are in my shop, and I love this yellow. It's so pretty. I love it, and I stapled on some button cards right here. I didn't put nothing in there, I guess. Shoot, forgot. I didn't put nothing in here either. <laughs> but... I use little tags right here on the ends. 
I love Daisy has some cute ones, but I'm out and I didn't print anymore, so I'm using other stuff. But and then there, I cut the bags so there's little pockets. Although I didn't put anything in there now, I see, so I'm gonna have to go back or be okay with it. I'll decide later. <laughs> So a little Tim Holtzy pin and I did some of this kind of like distressing on top of Daisy's little tags. I like to make them look old. So I did tutorials on all this stuff and on this page and how I constructed the book and on these. So just go back on my channel and look if you missed all that stuff and want to make some of it. It's all there. Okay. And then I just put the ruffle over the top and made a little belly band with the thing and put a little button in. Here's where the envelope journal starts because this is an envelope left this writing spot. And then I just made this into a little tablet. That's linen paper. So here's the envelope. And then it's just got one of Daisy's tickets on there. It's so cute. And then I put in the rose paper. That's really pretty stationary. And all the envelopes I coffee stained on the dot pan. And then I inked them up. And then I glazed them with the pink glaze. So they have a really pretty shine to them. Kind of fun. And then just my, I love my dyed paper and then I'm putting lace tabs on and then this is that fabric that Linda sent me. Oh my God, it's been like my favorite fabric for years and you know, I'm down to this one, <laughs> this one piece. So anyways, I love it and I use it all the time. So anyways, I just like my pink paper and I left writing spots and then I I want to say script stamp because that's basically what I'm doing, but it's of buttons, which I love the buttons. And then here's a matching little swatch. This is not supposed to be glued. I must have glued when I glued this on somehow. This is little tiny little piece for Pete's sakes. There. This is just clipped on. You can take it off and use it on something else, but it's got the baby doll fabric from my shop. She's cloth, I hand sewed a button on, and it's got the lace and trim and stuff, and it's pinned together. It's cute. And then all these vintage sewing book pages. This one's on how to crochet lace. And then I did some stamping. It's a sari from my shop and a 50s sticker and some more button stamp. And then these are the little needle things that we made. We did um, out of scraps. So this one says needles. And then we did, um, I think we did uh, two different kind of little scrappy projects anyways. So some more linen paper and then just one of her cards and we waxed waxed some tags so that was fun um, master boards for wall of inspiration and um, these are on a process video too if you want to go look and then I just stamped vintage and my buttons again and then the lace tabby and then I cut it with the pinking shears and then I put some little lace on the top and more buttons and then this one has a little thimble and stamped right here and another little scrappy tablet with pink and regular paper coffee stained. And then here's another one of the tags. I love it because it's blue and it's got the blue stuff and it's got a little flip up right here. And then I did the two little, these flip ups, little flip ups. They're really cute. I could put something on the inside, I guess, but I was leaving this for writing right here. And then they have, each have a little pull out that I stamped with button stamp. 
this little envelope. They're just so cute. I love them. So I left that some script stamping, button stamp again with the tab, and then a vellum little envelope. I just put some stuff in there, you know. And then I just glued the extra felt pieces on and left to open back here, one of Daisy's tags. And then one of my handmade things I like to staple on the top for a tag topper. I don't know why, I just think it's funny. And then I put the rest of the felt up here for decoration. I just love how that all looks together. It's fun and it's bright and pretty and stuff. More button stamps. And then here's the one of the tags we made. Little buttons up here and waxed and a little iron. I love it. And it's coffee stained on the back, I'm sure. Yeah. And the seam bindings from my shop. That's pretty. And then one of the little button jars of buttons and then some rickrack on the bottom for a little tabby. And then there's one of my little coin envelope pocket things. Sewing machine on it, measure twice, cut once. And then this is just, hold on, a piece of felt. But I was going to put a pin in it and I forgot. I'm glad I'm going through this one again. Forgot a lot of stuff I was going to do for this. I thought I was done. There, so there's a little pin in there. And then one of these little tags, and she's sewing. So cute. Red is from my shop. Cute. And then the lace tab again, and some scissors, and another wax tag. This one's got the thimble on it. I love this button. One of Daisy's little pockets. Cute. And then a ticket on the envelope, and more stationery. One of my K's and then I put a thread top for a stamp and stamped it for March 29th, 1962. <laughs> so that is pretty, I love these. But I see I have empty pockets now, dang it. It's getting to be too much for me now. Eight of them is too many. And I got to pay bills, <laughs> basically. <laughs> All right, so this one. So this one is the pink one, it's cute. And I've got the felt done and all this part done and this part done. This is empty. This has a little die cut and a little thing in it. Little stuffies, another little tag. This has something in it, although I'm not done. Another little tag. And then here's the same little dealio and the envelope. Stationery I didn't put in there yet. The pink paper, I'm doing the edges. This a decoupage, a Rolodex. And this is a sewing ephemera. I just put some thread in there that was cute. And I'm gessoing the pages on these ones. I love gesso, so it's fun to write over and you can still see the sewing. And one of my Fashion Lady stickers. Here's our little scrappy thing we made with the thimble. I like this one. And then I did a die cut right here and this is gonna go behind it it's gonna stick down here like that it's one of these you open it up and it's got a tiny little place to write a few lines for funsies and then it flips out this is linen just a doily mini envelopes 
little pocket with stuffies. This one has a little pull out. You can pull out a little postcard and this one flips down. Hold on now. You know how it does it. I'll get it. There. And that one flips down for a little writing spot like that. And I put thinking of you on it for fun. And then the little scalloped edge. And then I love this. I like the scalloped edge and I just love this so far. I love this because I have a stamp that's a safety pin. And I put an old piece of paper on there. And then here's the little pins and needles. Here's our little needle thing we made. This is one of Daisy's button cards. Tsunami girls. And then I put pins. That's one of her things too. So it has pins and needles because that's cute. And then I put the pins here. And then this is a calico collage, I think. And you wrap some, you know, lace around it. I just haven't done it yet. But we can. I was just going to take a little bit of baby doll lace and leave it hanging out the side and just wrap it a little bit. Wrap it and tuck it and then let that part hang out. Ooh, it's not going in very good. That's okay. Then I put a doily back there and then another spot to put some more pins or whatever you want. I like this page, it's cute. I like all the layering and stuff on this one. And I like that button card, it's cute. And then I did a little patch of gesso right here. I like that too. This whole page is gesso. And then I inked up the edge and cut this. It just looks pretty. I like the way it looks just like this. You can see the little roses peeking through and the stamp here. It's fine. I'm gonna put, you know, lace and stuff on the edge, but. Another one that I just put, and then I ripped the top off and roses, a piece of tape. I love that. Then I sew it around the edge and stuff. This is linen paper. This is just a piece of garbage, you know. I just like that, I don't know why. My button jar, they all get a button jar. I haven't done anything here yet. I don't know if I'm gonna. And then here's the, everybody gets one of these. And we're on this. I just have to see if I have cheesecloth that is blue. There's some kind of color here. Although I do have pink. I wanted blue and I had some sit here. It's the last thing I have to look for. I'm really sorry. I thought I had it all fixed, but immediately I see I don't. Here it is. I found it. I don't want to do white on white, so. All right. And then I need my script stamp real quick. So I'm saving all my love for you. I've been watching Whitney Houston videos. I can't help it. <laughs> you know, I'm an 80s girl. I don't know what happens. In the evening, I sit down in my chair and screw around, you know. And you flip through Facebook and, you know, all the videos and stuff with the, you know, all the old videos and stuff. It's kind of fun to... Listen to all the old music. 
I love all the old Prince videos and they're putting a lot of Elvis right now because of his new new movie coming out. Well, not his new movie, but a new movie about him. Okay, let's see. And then this was... I'm looking for the little stamp for these now. If I can find it. I think I did. It's this one. And so I'm just going to stamp. I'm not going to use my stamping platform and all that. Just for two. I might be annoying for some of you, but... But, you know. I'm fine with it. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm totally fine with it. Okay. Those are cute. And they're going to go inside. I love mini envelopes. I'm obsessed. So anytime I find mini envelopes at a sale or somebody sends me some or something, I'm like all about it because because it's just fun. And then I like to glue the flaps down and make little flip ups like this with these mini ones. They're so cute. So let's do the blue cheesecloth. Just snag a piece here off the corner. One, two. All right, hopefully this isn't clogged instantly. We'll see. All right, so. And you can wax these too, but I already did my waxing and I didn't wax these, so it's fine. But you have to be careful you don't wax all the way through. I've done that and ruined my pages. <laughs> waxed, I waxed like three pages together one time when I first started. <laughs> oh my God, it was funny. Well, it wasn't funny, but funny now but it wasn't funny then I was like oh no you know because it's so hard when you're new oh my god because you got to make everything you know you don't have all the stuff so when you're new you got to make it all and oh my god it was such a disaster to have three pages <laughs> stuck together but I ripped them up and did all this stuff and tried to repair it and ended up making these cool pockets and all this stuff out of it. So it's fun. And then these are Daisy's Fussy Cuts. Tsunami Girls Fussy Cuts for the sewing kit. Little pin cushions and stuff. So it's cute. This one's pin cushion and buttons. and It's just cute, you know. Little things to use on top. Gotta have a focal point, so. So, gotta have something. And then I will glue these, the little flaps down so they can flip up and we'll have two little cute little flip ups little journaling spots and I love the scalloped edge right here it's just cute mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there I like it and we can put something you know around if you want on the top some little piece of something if you want to to make the layers more more layers
put something here. All this vintage lace is in my shop. I have some really excellent stuff right now. Just gorgeous reclaimed vintage lace. And ooh, my packs are excellent right now. I have a couple big packs too. They're like $99 for, but it's this huge pack of like this vintage stuff. I can't even explain it to you. Like this, for instance, I have never seen any of this anywhere and it's got that coloring and it's like so delicate that you can't even like I don't even want to use it it's so old you know what I mean like it's so beautiful and this baby doll dress and just different stuff like you know that you don't get to see so there's a lot of good stuff in there right now oh, I'm gonna put tabs on though in a second but I wanted something but we'll see if I can find anything. And then I've got this one too. Oh, I never see this. You know, it's all vintage. You can tell, like, look at this. It's so pretty. It's just old, you know, and it has that coloring and stuff. And like, I didn't even tea stain any of this. This is just how it came. I was like, oh my God. So it's just really pretty. I am looking for just the right piece here. I've got so much stuff back here. And then this stuff. This stuff's really cool. And I put it in some of the trim bags. Because somebody spun all these little things. And then they make like these little things out of them. I'll show you guys. Or I have showed you in the past. But these are just really neat. I love it so much. And they're included in some of the packs I've got listed. And then this one. Oh my god. Look at this old stuff. Look at this coloring. Oh my goodness. You can just tell like it's going to fall apart. It's so old, you know. Oh my God. I've got some beautiful stuff right now. Oh, here's a piece. And this stuff. This baby doll dress lace. I can't even stand it. I mean, look at how little, delicate, beautiful this stuff is. Oh my God. Literally, after I got all this stuff, I was like, my lace um, just got like elevated. So I like threw out, well, I didn't throw out, but you know how you get new, better stuff and you kind of like recycle the old stuff. You know what I mean? So I took out all my old stuff and replaced it with like all this vintage stuff. I was like, oh my God, my lace just got an upgrade. <laughs> I was all proud of it, but it's really fun when you get to work with the old stuff. You know, you can really tell, Ooh, that's pretty. I love it. So they flip up and they can pull it out. Cute. And then I just put the ticket there. And then I undo the envelope sometimes so you can have like an extra page. And then I just put some ephemera in there and you can write or tuck stuff or whatever. So that's fun. And then, are you guys talking to me? I didn't even see. Hi, Miss Kay. Hi. Unless I have to bring out the better. I know I have so much junk out right now. It's sick. It really is. All right, so let's see now. I'm not used to this desk either. It's new and I only have like this little area and I'm used to having big long desk to work on and I just don't have it anymore so mm -hmm. oh this one I have to fix mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is pretty cute though even if it is just a simple little this took a lot it's not that simple actually this was it's cute I love it with our little flips that we just did oh this is cute that's cute for some inspiration. I love it. All right, and then I will find a closure of some kind here and close it up with something. And then I will move on to the next one. I have like so many of them sitting here, although we'll see. I did make each one, you know, a little piece of this and a little bit of this and each one gets a tag and stuff like that but it's definitely not enough to make a whole journal out of but I was just 
decorating up a few of them and seeing how that goes and how long it takes and then decide from there what I'm going to do. But anyways, this is so cute. I love it. Anyways, thanks for coming in. I just wanted to stop in for a minute and show you guys this one and decorate up a couple little pages and see how you guys were doing. Me too. I purged mine too. I love the to get new lace in so you can get rid of your old stuff. <laughs> Kind of fun. I think I'm going to put some lace on there. It's just so pretty and it's pink. Just for a little flip up because it's just pretty. Can't really tell it's pink unless you put it on a white background. All right. I got to go cook some dinner. I just wanted to come and sit real quick with you guys. It's pretty. And then I'll just put this up. Well, I got to do the tabs, too. I got to do... I got this doily I've been using for all the tabs. So I'm going to do five. I've been doing five on each one. One, two, three, four, five. So that's kind of fun, too. So there's some fabrics, you know, elements... So I have to figure out. I think I'll put one on that page. Because that's just got gesso. So I'll put a little fabric tabby on here. Perfect. And then we could do it again down here. Perfect, right? And then I guess we could put another one around this page. There's not that many pages. I mean, let's move it towards the middle now. Because we got one on the top and one on the bottom. So we got to put a few in the middle. two left, but they don't really go anywhere, do they? I mean, I could put one here, but it's already scalloped. I could put one on this, but it has this, and it needs to go right here, so it would be in the way. And on this side, it's already got a tab. I guess I could put it on this page, on the back of this one. It doesn't have nothing on it yet. I'll just put it right here. There, that's cute. Oh, the tabs make it look cute, don't it? Oh, I love that. So cute. Very cute. And then I'm going to glue on, you know, I'm going to do a little bit of fabric right here, like with this. So we'll put that on, fancy it up a little bit with some fabrics now. That's kind of fun. Like adding the fabric and laces. That's fun. And then I'm going to put a little ink on it because it's a little too new looking here. We got to grunge it up a little bit at least so it's not so stark white. 
There. Cute. Right? Look at this piece. Oh, you can tell this old stuff. It's just gorgeous. Isn't it? Just gorgeous. The problem is, I don't really want to... I think I'm going to just... I'm not even making it a pocket. I just want to put it on there because it looks good. So I'll make it for the top. Because it's awful delicate and loose. Ooh, that's pretty. Just like that. Just for an element, you know. <clears throat> pretty. I love it. Cute. Cute. How about here? Well, I was going to put it over here, but I don't know if it really goes over there. But that's kind of cute right here. And then I was going to do something else on this side. But I don't know. Is it? I don't know. I like this better. It's a different color, you know. Okay, I want to put this somewhere, but I might put it on the next book. We'll see. This one's pretty much getting done, although I could put it here. That would be adorable. So that's what I'm going to do. I found a spot for it. Just to cut off, you know, from what I was doing with the... With them. I love it. And then this one, right? But I'm not sure what to put there because I already have this tab. I want to put that, but I feel like it's too big. I'm looking for something. I want it to be colored because it's plain. So, and I don't have anything colored up here. It's just all vintage. So let me look, let me look. Oh, this is pretty pink. Oh, that's cute. We'll just use this. That's cute. Okay, we're getting it here. Okay, this 
face is already wanting to smile, so I don't know if I'm going to get this to look straight or not. <laughs> we'll see. It's already wanting to smile. I'm going along. Hi, Leanne. Go over where? To my shop, hopefully, you're saying. <laughs> where all my old lace is. It's so pretty. I didn't put the link this time, but I will later. But the links are always in my... Yeah, to my house. Yeah, that would be fun. I'm having a crafty day, actually. Um, I'm having all the sisterhood girls come over. It is... I have to go look in my group. Wild Woman Sisterhood of Snohomish County. It's on um, Facebook. And we're doing... I'm showing them all how to make homemade journals for... You know, to journal in for their... You know, spiritual stuff. So it's really going to be fun. Some of the group girls are coming, the ones that live close by. Okay, so that's cute. Okay, let's see. We are cruising right along. I think that's it. Oh, maybe some here. Maybe. But you know what I'm attracted to, you guys know I love satin. Wedding dress satin, I mean, it's just sick. I have a bunch of this in the shop, too. With, I actually have a slow stitch kit with this, too. It's gorgeous, but I notice nobody is getting it, so I'm wondering, hmm, how can they not like that slow stitch kit? It's gorgeous. Ooh, and look at this piece. This is so pretty. I can't even stand how gorgeous that is. Oh, I should just, I don't even know what to do here. Oh, I know, I was gonna use this one. Let me find it, here it is. It looks like a little crown. Here's some more vintage stuff right here. Ooh, it looks like a little crown when I put it up. It's so cute. I just put it up here at the top. It's adorable. And then I'm gonna stamp a sewing machine on here. Oh, it's just cute. It looks like a little crown. Only this one's bent, darn it. Wrinkled, I mean, so I'm gonna have to glue it down. Usually I let it pop, but if it's all bent up and stuff, I don't like that. And I don't feel like ironing right now, so. Good enough. And then I'm gonna get my sewing machine stamp. This one I really should use a stamping platform for, but if it's not right here, then it is kind of, but it's so small. I'm sleeping on my love for you. I don't know if I use this in this journal yet. I'm gonna look before I. Hopefully this comes out good. <laughs> I didn't use anything for this big stamp. Oh, I hope I didn't ruin it. Oh, it looks good. <laughs> A little bit messed up right there, but I think that's okay. Ah. There we go. I did it a little, I cheated. 
there. Okay, and then this, if I was going to put it, and then I put my K in the back. If I can find it, it's such a mess. I got such a mess here. Or I can put scissors back here, too. Mm -hmm. Well, I used my K a couple of times now, and I don't see it, so of course. I don't know where it went here. We'll see. I want to stamp this somewhere, but I don't know where yet. Mm -hmm. How about right here? Then I gotta go make dinner. I could have done it right here too. What else do I got? Scissors. I can put scissors there. Scissors and pins. I have pins too. But scissors might be nice right here even. Mm -hmm. Let's just look. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did. I had it right here already. Okay. Mm I can put a stamp right here. There's the scissors. That looks good. I love that. And then usually I put my K here and write my name and stuff for all of inspiration, but I don't know where my K went. And then what kind of stamp? These are all perfume bottles, I guess. That's no good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oof. These are all botanicals. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is cute. It's pink. It's a telephone. <laughs> That's funny. It doesn't have anything to do with sewing, but it doesn't all have to be everything sewing on it every single thing. What did I do here? Come on with it. I don't know why I'm struggling there. I don't know why I like this phone, but I just do, so I'm gonna do it. And it's got a scalloped edge. Oh, it's not even cut, I see. I don't know why I like it, I just do. So here we go. I think it's neat. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's kind of retro, you know, the old rotary pink phone. I love it. There. cool. And then I like to put some kind of postage stamp on here so it looks real. So I'll put one there and 
This is a neat stamp. It's got a different kind of postage thing all the way around it, so it's pretty cool. And then I'll put one here. It's this one. Put it right here. Love it. So those are fun. There, let's flip through it again and see. I gotta find a closure, I know that. And I gotta put one of my cuties in here. Didn't do that yet. I'll put one of these in here. It's got the thimbles of thread and little words, and it's cute, and it's got the pattern paper. There's process videos for these tags if you want to go look, but I'll put that here. And then all the pieces stick out. That's cute. I got a dress die cut, and a little taggy here, and a little Tiffany thing. Just some little tags and buttons. This I haven't done anything with yet. I just stuck it in here. It's one of Daisy's. I mean, I always say Daisy. It's Tsunami Rose, you guys. But she's my girl, so I... <laughs> I assume you guys know who it is. <clears throat> Alright. Good enough, good enough. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, this one's good, I think. So, I'm going to go make some dinner. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. That was fun. Another one down. I'm excited. I got three done now. Yay. But I'm not going to... I can't um, decorate all these. I'm going to just put all this stuff together with it and send them out with so that it's like more of inspiration instead of all this work for me. Okay. Okay. Bye, you guys. Thanks for the thumbs up. That really helps. Bye.